And first to some breaking news, and Joyce mentioned this, Governor Jay Inslee today announced that Washington was erroneously on a travel advisory for anybody flying to New York, New Jersey, or Connecticut. Good afternoon, glad you're with us. I'm Greg Copeland. I'm Joyce Taylor, good afternoon. So today we learned that people from Washington have to quarantine if they fly to those states. Washington, one of eight states identified by the tri-state region as hotspots for coronavirus. But in the last hour, the governor said it was a mistake. Meantime, more counties are reopening amid a surge in cases. Today, the state announced Thurston County has been approved for phase three reopening. That's in purple. That means groups of 50 people or fewer can gather. More businesses can open up, including gyms, pools, and movie theaters. There are now just as many counties in phase three as are in phase two. Just a handful in central Washington remain in phase one this afternoon. So at the same time, on Friday, almost everyone in the state will have to wear a mask in public. The mandate calls for any kind of face covering in indoor and outdoor public spaces when it's impossible to maintain six feet of distance. The only exceptions, children under the age of five, people who are deaf or hard of hearing, and people with medical conditions that would be made worse by wearing those masks. Today, the health secretary told us we may have to keep masks on hand until there's a vaccine. This is what I've been talking about since the early days, that our new normal was going to be different. We weren't just going to be going back to the old ways. So we have team coverage for you tonight, including details on a local sheriff scoffing at the mask rules for Washington. First, King 5's Glenn Farley is in Linwood, where businesses, they would love to be able to expand the number of customers that they're serving. Right, Glenn? They, they certainly would. So remember, it would be three weeks from Friday, this coming Friday, that Pierce and Snohomish County both went into phase two. King County was later, and they have a three-week waiting period before they can apply to go to phase three. But that depends on hitting several metrics here. Now, everybody, if we show the VO here, can, can count on wanting more business to go to. I mean, when we saw... Uh, phase two, that meant barber shops, nail salons, hair salons could open up. Uh, we also see restaurants going to 50% capacity. They will step up under phase three. But we've also seen basic metrics such as the number of cases, the rolling average per 100,000 individuals going up in Snohomish and Pierce County. Dr. Chris Spitters heads the Snohomish County Health District. It's not you know, uh, uh, a one-way street. Uh, we, we've been making progress, but if things don't go well, you know, we can get stalled or we can even end up having to move backward. I take it that's not good news. No, we're, everyone's excited to go to phase three. And that's Frank Sandoval of Snowtown Brewing up in the town of Snohomish, of course, what Snohomish County is named after. He is very anxious to get to phase three. He wears his mask. He encourages his other folks, uh, his guests to wear their masks, obviously not while they're eating or drinking, but in between time. So trying to get there because they say that's critical. And one of the drivers here, they say, is getting there. Now, Dave Summers, the Snohomish County uh, executive says when he has been out and about, he's seeing about 60 to 70 percent of the people wearing masks in hardware stores, places like that, but about 30 percent not wearing them. So they are also encouraging the use of masks to try to bring those numbers down in order to get more of an opening going forward. Meanwhile, I just got off the phone with the uh, Tacoma Pierce County Health District. They say that they are over 30 in terms of that number, and that is a discouraging revelation. Live in Linwood, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Okay, Glenn, thank you. Several county sheriffs have been speaking out on the new mask mandate, including the sheriff of Lewis County, where a video popped up last night. King 5's Michael Crow is live there with more. Michael? Right, he told people don't be a sheep when considering the face mask order, that's as officials say wearing face coverings will help slow the spread of this coronavirus. Uh, in case you guys didn't hear, Governor Inslee, in his infinite wisdom, has decided after over 100 and some odd days that we should all wear face masks inside and out. Here's, here's what I say. Don't be a sheep. 
This is the video that surfaced last night. Sheriff Robert Snaza addressing a group he says came out to defend a sign in Lewis County they thought might be burned. He's referring to Governor Inslee's mandatory face mask order went out in public, which starts Friday. But you say, don't be sheep in terms of, and just sure. can you elaborate on what so that means? I had told the group that um, Governor Inslee was going to put this out. And at the end, I said, don't be sheep. And what I mean is that I didn't say don't wear a mask or wear a mask. What I meant is don't be sheep. It's okay to ask questions. Not everybody has to be a follower. It's okay to ask questions. It's okay to say, I don't like this. This new Washington order makes disobeying a misdemeanor. So will deputies and you as the sheriff enforce this order to wear a mask? I'm gonna say we're gonna take it on a case by case basis. I won't give a definitive answer. Sheriff Snaza says his department has other issues to focus on, but says they will educate folks on masks. But I would tell you this, how about if it makes you feel that this will help reduce it, then I would say to each individual, if they feel the need to wear the mask, wear the mask. But now you're making it an order, and then you're saying, if you don't like the order, I'm going to arrest you or cite you. And I find out we're going to the extreme. And that extreme, I, I just have a hard time dealing with. I'm just trying to understand, though. I'm really, I'm just trying to wrap my head around because uh, take speeding, for example, right? If I want to go 80 miles an hour because it feels like a safe choice for me, it might not be a safe choice for somebody that I rear end and kill. The, a lot of people compare masks in the same way, that if I had coronavirus right now and wore a mask or somebody wore a mask and might reduce the risk of transmitting it to someone when I stop for gas, that's their safety that my choice has impacted. How do you well, respond to that? Well, I think uh, this is totally different. This is apples and oranges. A citation is an infraction. It's, it's monetary, it's a small infraction. This is more of a misdemeanor crime. Okay, that's totally different. But he did say that blatant violations, they will quote, do what they need to do. And he noted he has bought over a hundred masks for staff and they wear PPE when they're inside the building. Other sheriffs tonight, like Thurston County said, quote, it would be inappropriate for deputies to criminally enforce this mandate. Grant County says it is not a mandate to detain arrest or site violators. Live in Chehalis, I'm Michael Crow, King 5 News. So Michael, it sounds pretty much like he, they probably won't be enforcing it unless it's flagrant. Well, he talked a lot about uh, education. They want to tell people about this, uh, but like I, like I was just saying, blatant violations, he said, you know, kind of, we discussed a little bit about those videos you've seen of people not wearing masks, forcing their way into grocery stores and stuff like that. Uh, he said that, you know, they will intervene, but as you heard him say there, uh, he wouldn't give a definitive answer on how that would be enforced. All right, Michael Kronchehalis. Thank you, Michael.